105.5 Network. This is Morning Line with Nick Barris. Ah, good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us on Morning Line on this Wednesday. Nick Barris with you. I hope you are having a good day so far, and I'm glad you're joining us as always. Uh, a good show on tap for you. Uh, busy uh, week, I think, with regard to law enforcement and some of the guests that we've had on. And, uh, you know, yesterday, Davidson County District Attorney Glenn Funk was on. This morning... Davidson County Sheriff, the top law dog, Darren Hall, is with us. Good morning to you, Sheriff. Good morning, Nick. How are Good you? To see. I didn't know if you knew whether or not uh, Glenn Funk was on yesterday. I did not know that. And uh, he spoke somewhat enviously of the fact that you have a seat on this show once a month. And I said, Glenn, we'll bring you on. Come on. And I go, well, but I'm not so sure. You don't just slide into the role that you're in just like that. That's all there is to it. You're a regular. I've been around a long time. I, th <laughs> yes, I, th yeah. I think I'm longer I'm, than him. I mean, I, that's it's, right. yeah. <laughs> uh, but I appreciate you coming on. You know, it's, it's interesting. I just thought I'd follow up because a lot of people were watching. I, I think uh, the general wanted to come on um, yesterday. Usually, he'll come on and talk broad range topics like you and I yeah. do. But yesterday, it was a more addressing. A, back in August, when um, you know the state law kicked in on abortion after right, Roe v. Right. Wade was overturned. He issued some statements, but then he said, Nick, I need to evaluate and take a look at what we have here before I give any more sound. And he really hasn't talked about it much since. So he came on yesterday talking much more about how he will approach it if and when a case comes to him where someone is charged or a complaint is brought um, for an abortion case. And again, I know this is outside your realm with regard to whether someone's right. prosecuted. You don't make right. that choice. But we've talked about how General Funk will not prosecute for a half an ounce or less of marijuana, right. which I think you have no problems with. Not that. right. Okay, and uh, on the abortion issue, it's the same thing. He just says there are a lot of gray areas in, in his mind still with you know who gets prosecuted, how, and whether. But he has basically said the same thing as he said with regard to the marijuana issue on half an ounce. If, if something came to him, you know, he uh, does not plan to prosecute. That, that's his plan. And, and from your perspective, then I guess you would not think about locking a woman, if it is, or a doctor, if it is, up if they're charged with this crime. Yeah, you know, to be consistent with, with one of the frustrations I had, this goes back to immigration for me. Um, I think the federal laws are totally screwed up. I mean, a lot of these things, I mean, the marijuana law is really stupid. Uh, one of the, the craziest ones. A lot of people don't understand this, but although it's legal to buy, purchase, possess in, in Colorado, a lot of these states, it is not legal to put it in the bank. Mm -hmm. And so what you don't realize is all that cash money that you're exchanging or money you're exchanging is then having to be hid places. A lot of robberies, a lot of things that go on mm -hmm. because the federal system says you can't have the money. The state system is allowing you to do it. And again, as you mentioned, uh, Glenn Funk and other people are kind of picking and choosing which laws to enforce. And I, I don't know that I love that as a concept. Philosophically, I, I agree completely with the marijuana. If I were the DA, I don't believe you should be prosecuting people who are doing that. But the truth is, the law needs to be fixed federally. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not against people from other countries. I think it should be legally in the country. That's what I still believe it. I've not changed that. Um, and I don't think it should be sheriffs or DAs or local jurisdictions making determinations about who is legally in the country. It's a federal um, mm -hmm. uh, law. Um, and same thing with marijuana. The reason marijuana is so complicated is because it's on the federal right. uh, code as a it's a equal to cocaine yeah, and heroin and other things. Class one or something right, like right. that still, which is absurd. Which can really co complicates the local law enforcement <coughs> role. And so we're, we're a DA like Funk, who has the most. You know, I say this every time I'm on here. I think uh, it's the has the most authority, the most responsibility of any position you'll ever elect, including the president of the United States, um, because it can take away your freedom. The only job it can. Uh, and other things, but but so he has discretion. But I don't love that when it, not him personally, but that our laws aren't pretty clear. Um, the the Roe v. Wade thing, you know, at a federal level, had been decided for 50 years, and now what you do is you open this whole thing up for for people locally to make determinations. And 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 I don't, you know, Glenn Funk is a, a friend of mine. I know him, and we work well together. So I'm not personalizing this, but. I find it a little rogue for I'm going to do this, not that law, this law, not that law. That that doesn't really feel good for the system to feel. I mean, in my opinion, um, it was federally uh, controlled at the time until until uh, the Supreme Court just decided. So was marijuana. So is marijuana. The pressure needs to be 
at the federal level to release those types of things where you're not having to, in my opinion, um, pick and choose which laws to enforce. Uh, I got in a lot of trouble over the years about immigration because people would say, why are you doing this if a person's booked in jail uh, and they were determined to be in the country illegally? Why are you doing this? And I said, well, there's two reasons. One, the feds, although the law says they should be doing it, aren't. I wasn't enforcing laws. Uh, um, there was a, a program in which we could partner with the federal government and help them right. do that job. But to me, if you can't clearly define what the law is federally, then you're going to leave this open for a lot. Well, and he's saying you can't clearly define it. I don't think he's speaking. I don't know. I can maybe guess, but I don't know how Glenn Funk feels about abortion one way or the other. But to him, he's saying, regardless of his personal belief, he, he can't really parse the law. There's too many things, and maybe he says the legislature is going to have to come back and tighten up the state law. But that's where his issue is. But he talks about my role as DA is to make sure that I prosecute and go after people, and my primary goal is to make sure the public remains safe. And that if there's a danger or something, and with you, you've said on more than one occasion, you know, yeah, uh, that's me. I want to lock yeah, up yeah. the people who are at dangerous yeah. risk. I don't want to lock up someone caught with a right. joint on the street. Right. The question is, you know, General Funk's like on an issue like abortion from where he's seeing it. He doesn't want to, if it comes to it, lock these folks up. Right. And, and that will ultimately be his call. How do you feel about that? Yeah, it's the same thing. I mean, I, I don't, it makes no sense to me. I mean, I, I go a hundred directions on this. Um, you know, I, I think the criminal justice system is used for a whole lot of wrong reasons. Uh, I mean, a, a, a woman who's in prostitution, primarily women, um, what happens is arresting that person hasn't done one thing. Mm -hmm. it, it's a typically a victimless crime. Typically, the woman has multiple disorders that are they're leading to this. She's not there because she wants to be. And so what we do in, in our society is we arrest her and punish her, oftentimes, and haven't solved anything. We haven't done one bit of good for, for what I think society's real goal is, is to, is to clean up the streets, get her in a position of being, uh, if not successful, more, more uh, um, you know, able to to perform in society with a successful wife, not not on the streets selling your body and because you're addicted to all sorts of drugs. And so same thing here, to use the criminal justice system to really enforce a social uh, and political issue is really what this is. I mean, abortion is, you know, 99% political. I know we all get very focused on other things. It is 99% political to me. What that means is um, where you live and how you decide uh, to, to feel about that typically is a, is a political feeling. I understand there's religious and uh, other motivations, but it, it really gets way too political. Same thing here. The feds move it to the state, the state governors, depending on where you are. Some of them have very strict, uh, as you well know, um, very fascinated with politics. I like to watch it. And, and the, mm -hmm. all these debates right now in Pennsylvania and all these governorships, right. I was watching them last night. And uh, a lot of interesting, but most of that is so political and our country is so divided that if you're in a Governor Lee's role or Glenn Funk's role, because that's really where, the, where these things fall, what are you going to do about it now that's in your hands? And DA, what are you going to do now? And But to think that you're going to lock people up for enforcing uh, or because the law says that you can't do uh, a medical procedure is is not what I think the criminal justice system should be doing. It doesn't make any sense to me. Where, where I differ, though, is I believe that, that just like in marijuana, I don't believe people who are, are caught with marijuana should be used the criminal justice system to solve that problem. We should fix it at the federal level. I feel the same way about immigration. It's the same situation. The reason I think you should enforce immigration laws is change the law. Mm -hmm. The law says, right, the country says you must have X, Y, Z to be in our country. Fix it. You know, change it. I mean, I, I don't have, but when, and marijuana is the same way. It makes no sense that that is on a Schedule One drug. It doesn't make, to me. But we need to fix that. We shouldn't just be avoiding it, which is really what's happening. And yeah. so I support what uh, General Funk's doing with marijuana, but the truth is that's not where you need to solve this problem. You need to take it off, the, you know, at the federal level. And I think in November here in a few weeks, I believe it's Arkansas. I know Oklahoma's already done it. Arkansas may be the first southern state, mm -hmm. primarily Republican state, that, that passes it for recreational use. And, and as it starts to happen, I think you will see the crumble of the South. Um, and eventually I wonder, it'll yeah. yeah. I mean, because yeah, you're right. There, I think one of the reasons all of this is coming up right now is just because yeah. it's election year. Political, right. And it's political, and <clears throat> you're so right. It's political. But um, yeah, I do wonder on that. We should say, with regard to the marijuana issue, you don't have anyone locked up on... Well, I no. guess... 
Now, when, okay, I understand the street dealer, if someone's caught with a little baggie. Now, we know every once in a while we see the BNA airport police yeah. report some, someone coming through with a suitcase full yeah. Yeah. of pounds of <clears throat> marijuana. Now, that, they're going to make the arrest there, that's for sure, and, and General Funk will prosecute on right. an amount that much. Right. Do those folks get locked up with you at all? Yes. They do. Yes. And, and again, I think most people would agree with that. Why someone's doing that, I know. flying with a suitcase it's, load full of marijuana to a state where they know it's illegal? Yeah, the, you know, there's, and I've got a lot of sheriff friends over the years, and some of these are in states where yeah. it's legal, and I mean, it's Armageddon if you listen to these people. And, and where I would hate to be, to be honest with you, is the, the Wyoming or the, the sheriff in the county of the first that butts up against a, a, a Colorado, or because that, there is a trafficking, clearly, yeah. a situation. What's bizarre about that to me is, though, you're at least trafficking, trafficking legal stuff back to where you live. Now, that doesn't make it right. What people have to accept is there's trafficking going on in our state where it's illegal, um, too. And so, you know, and, and again, this sounds really, I know, kind of out there, but um, the fentanyl problem even pushes me further to wanting it legalized. I mean, I have two young sons or young men who are yeah. sons of mine, 28 and 20, I guess. You know, I hope they never put a bad substance, even Mountain Dew, in their body. Truthfully, they do it today, right? I mean, they're, they're making choices like I did. Some of those choices were not good when I was young. Some of these choices Is that today. Dew? Yeah, it's Mountain Dew. Okay. It, it's <laughs> diet Mountain Dew because sugar's not good for you, but I had a bunch of those too. But, but I made bad decisions. I don't eat well. I mean, I eat foods that aren't great for you, I, I don't okay. eat healthy. Um, but I hope my sons figure out life and make decisions that, that they want to make, experiment with what that is. Friends, family, r money, all those decisions we all have to make. And the experimentation on a college campus, you, you have a son mm -hmm. in the same way, yeah. you know, that, that I know there's temptations, I know there's ideas of, uh, of trying different things. I have no idea what they will or won't try. What's different for them than me is that when I was their age, 30 plus years ago, um, what you may experiment with was not instantly deadly that yeah. I know of. I mean, right. looking back, there were some things that were very addictive. What, what, I, what I worry about is if they want to use marijuana, if they want to in, in a way that's legal, I mean, because it's, I really hope that it's regulated, but it's also clear what you're actually buying and using. Yeah. What's on the street today in this city? No one knows what's yeah, in Yeah, we'll go on a break on that. We'll pick it up when we come back because I want to ask you about these uh, fentanyl test strips, which is interesting what's coming up on that. But yeah, um, fentanyl can be sprinkled onto pot, yes. and you never know. You smoke that, you're dead. Um, great. Listen, we're going to take a break. We're going to talk about that. We've got uh, several other issues. And if you have a question for the sheriff in Davidson County, 737-7587 is the number. We'll take your call right after this. Stay with us.